Hello friends, welcome back to another video tutorial in Revit architecture. I am architect Sonu Rai from Gladys Studio and in this today video tutorial, I am going to teach you how to calculate the cost of bricks and number of bricks in an project. So if you are working in Revit and if you want to know the cost of the bricks and how many bricks are required accord, according to your design, so we can do this. So first we need to understand how to calculate this by using formula. So we need to have some basic understanding so we can know that bricks have irregular shape and sizes and their measurement varies according to different nations so i am from india and india is having some different sizes and for international it is different so you can use the same technique so this is size of modular bricks you can see that this is 190 mm length and this is that is 90 mm height is also 90 mm so this is the size of modular bricks so if you can see is that this is uh, actual size of modular bricks is 190 into 90 into 90 and if you will consider the mortar so mortars as a 10 mm so you can add into this so it becomes 200 190 plus 10 200 90 plus 10 100 90 plus 10 100 so this is 200 into 100 into 100 so it will convert brick size in meters so it will become 200 divided by 1000 so it will become 0.2 meter width also divided by 1000 so it became 0.1 meter and depth also divided by 1000 so it becomes 0.1 meter so if you calculate the volume of one brick with mortar by multiplying its length depth by width so it becomes that 0.2 meter into 0.1 meter into 0.1 meter it becomes 0.2 0, 0, 002 meter cube if you will take this size so if you if you want to calculate the volume of one brick with mortar it is 0 0.002 meter cube so if you want to know the number of bricks in one meter cube so you can divide one meter cube of brick wall by volume of one brick so suppose if you want to see the one meter volume you can see this this is the one meter volume and these are all our bricks which are placed so how we can do this and divide the number of bricks with the volume of one brick so we can uh, do this so we can see the volume of a brick is one meter cube and divided by volume of one brick that is 0 0.002 meter cube it becomes 500 so 500 numbers of bricks are required in one meter cube of volume so this is for this sizes 190 mm into 90 mm into 90 mm so if you will take uh, some other sizes which are prevalent in india that is uh, this size that is 9 inches by 3 inches by 4 inches so you can repeat the same process and you can find this by converting into unit so converting inches to meter for easing calculation so you can uh, find the total volume by 9 inches by 4 inches and 3 inches so it becomes in meter 0 0.22686 meter 0 0.1016 meter 0 0.0762 meter so volume of it becomes 0 0.0017698 cubic meter so Step 3 is volume required 1 meter into 1 meter into 1 meter. So total volume required 1 meter cube. So how many bricks are required in 1 meter cube? You can follow for three types of bricks. Now I can calculate this number of bricks by using this formula like we did in earlier. So volume of 1 meter cube divided by volume of 1 brick. So number of bricks in 1 meter cube divided by 0 0.001. 7698 so 565 bricks are required in 1 meter cubic volume so if you will take this size 4 inches 9 inches into 3 inches by 4 inches so if you will take AEC blocks like how to calculate the number of autoclaved aerated concrete that is AEC blocks which are very prevalent in green building design and many other projects so you can calculate this also so you can see that volume of block work cubic meter and size of brick here is 625 mm into 240 mm into 150 mm so it also varies so, but you can follow the same thing so this is the standard size and if you calculate volume of one AC 
for block motor without uh, motor you can see here without motor one block you can see that it becomes 0 0.625 and 0 0.24 and multiplied by 0 0.15 so it becomes 0 0.0225 cubic meter number of ac blocks required without motor it becomes 1 divided by 0 0.0225 that is 44.44 number so approx 44 number of blocks are required in this case so if you will add 5 mm uh, motor thickness because in uh, this ac blocks the motor requirement is lesser than the normal bricks so if you are taking 10 mm for normal bricks you will reduce it to 5 mm for ac blocks so this is much faster construction and it's it is very cost effective this ac block so if you will add 5 mm in every motor so it becomes 630 mm into 245 mm into 155 mm if we multiply all this it will become 0 0.0239 cubic meter so number of ac blocks required with motor volume of block work by volume of ac block with motor so there are 42 numbers of blocks required in one cubic volume so now we'll calculate of this and you can follow all this for everything so now i am going to do this for modular brick here it's back to our revit project and i am going to create a simple wall here and this is uh, modular bricks here basic wall generic 200 mm so before this you are required to check your units whether it is in meter so i'm going to change the area into meter square and the length is also in meter and volume is also in meter cube click ok and now i'm going to select this wall and i need to change it to meters and height is 3 meter that is ok i'm going to edit type then duplicate and I'm going to make it as 230 mm wall that is 0.23 so we can write in meter and after this you can go to structure here and in a structure you can change this to 0 0.23 meter here and then like any material so i'm going to click ok and ok so now this is 0.23 meter wall and i am going to draw a wall as a small room here suppose i'm going to draw a small room so i will take length as a perimeter and width also as a 4 meter and now we will enter 3 here also so this is a small room here you can say this is a room size and if you go to 3d view this is the room and we are required to calculate the volume and cost so if you go to your realistic mode here so now i'm going to Create a schedule or quantities from this. You can right click, you can select this one, and you can right click here and you can go to schedule or quantities. And you can also select from this view tab here and you can select your schedule and quantities from here. So I'm going to right click here and I'm going to new schedule or quantities. And in the new schedule or quantities, you can look for wall. So now I am going to create wall schedule so I am going to click OK and now what are the properties if you want to include so I am going to select area and then I will look for volume here first and then we will include the formula for the number of the bricks so I am going to enter this add calculated diameter so for calculating volume and number of bricks so I'm first i am going to enter for number of bricks so i will rename this as a number of bricks and explain is common and type is equal to number and then i'm going to enter the formula here 
तो फॉर्मूला इज वॉल्यूम डिवाइडेड बाई जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू मीटर क्यूब तो यू कैन क्रॉस वेरीफाई दिस एंड यू कैन सी दिस जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो टू मीटर क्यूब तो दिस इज द वॉल्यूम ऑफ वन ब्रेक इफ यू आर यूजिंग दिस मॉडलर एंड दिस इज डिफरेंट फॉर दिस ब्रेक तो नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू इंटर वॉल्यूम इयर फर्स्ट And then I'm going to divide this by zero point zero zero two meter meter cube. So I will click OK and I will show you first. I click OK and then you can see. This one area is 10 meter square and volume is 2.23 meter cube and you can see number of bricks is 1104.35. If you are taking a uh, modular bricks and 12 meter square wall, it is 1380 and 9 meter it is 1035 and 11 meter square is 1300.65. So this is the number of bricks which are required in these four walls. Because this is the estimation of the wall, excluding the offset of the bricks. So uh, now we'll calculate the cost also. So for calculating cost, we'll go to this properties here, and now we'll go to fields, and now again I will enter the formula for volume of the bricks. So uh, to calculate the cost. You are required to rename this as a cost of bricks. This line common, and now you can enter this number only. And now I am going to uh, divide this, multiply this number of bricks into the rate. So uh, if the number of the bricks. This one, and okay. multiply sign, and now we'll go with the rate of the bricks. So suppose the modular brick cost is ten rupees in, in India, including labor cost. So I will enter ten here, and if you are using uh, this block like AEC, AAC blocks, it will come here. This is A C blocks and single block cost is eighty rupees to sixty rupees in in India. And if you are in international, you can calculate based on to this. But these are cost effective. Single block cost is poor, but our overall construction is very fast, so it is cost effective than your normal traditional bricks. So now I am going to click OK. And click OK. Now you can see cost of the bricks. So I have taken 10 rupees. So 1114.35 multiplied by 10. This one is, and this is 1380. So multiplied by 10, it becomes 13,800 rupees. So likewise, you can calculate the cost and volume of the bricks in Revit, and you can save a lot of time. So Revit is a BIM software. So this was the tutorial about today's session. In the next session, I will come with some more interesting topics in Revit. Bye.